Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm Monty McKinnon. I am delighted that you're here. Now, a lot of you have come to join the channel over the summer, and you haven't necessarily seen where we're headed. You've seen part of the build, bending the wood, gluing, and doing all of that kind of thing. But I thought it was important for you to see where we're going to end up. This little puppy is where we're headed. This has a, a round over armrest here, so your arm doesn't get tired when you're up in here playing the guitar. It doesn't bind and it's much easier to play for a much longer period of time. We're gonna do that. Also, it's got a sound port over here that allows air to flow into the guitar and out of the guitar, consequently making it louder because the top is freer to move. If we didn't have that, and it was traditional, and we had this covered over, what would happen is air would be coming in and air would be going out. It's a little bit of a conflict, so this way it makes it easier. This has got a Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, Brazilian rosewood on the peg head front and back. It also has shell all the way down here in the stripe. It's got shell all the way around the edge here and around the sound hole is all shell. This has a clear pick guard on it. This is Brazilian as well. And it's a stunning, stunning guitar. I've been told that if B.B. King or Glenn Campbell were ever gonna go and make a recording, this is the guitar that they would take because it, it's pure all the way up and down the neck. The only problem is I can't play it. And, and so that's why I'm making guitars. So if you really want to see something exciting happen and unfold, come and join us. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, get notified when we're doing this, and you'll be part of the family and get to see where we're headed. And maybe you'd want to pass this on to some of your friends in the music stores or people that play guitar and let them see this because They'll be interested. When it's just bending wood, it's hard to visualize. That's why I think it's important for you to see this. All right, it is time. Let's roll that intro and get into today's build. Hi, thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate you being here. Today we have a few things that we need to get done because we want to get the top done down to size and ready to go. And I'm going to give you even a more close up look than what we had on the back side. So this should be a good one. You'll recall on a previous video, I had these blocks and these are what I use to mark running around. So if you're new and you didn't get to see that, you need to subscribe and hit the bell and be notified when we put up new videos because you're missing out and we don't want you to miss out. So come on, join the family. We have a lot of fun here. Remember, we're going to have the up arrows pointing up at each end and I want them approximately in the middle here. They're sitting tight against the tail block and the neck block on the underside. And all I'm doing is I'm going to run this around the edge. And I'm gonna come out and do your side here first. So you can see it sits on here and it simply glides. And that is gonna serve us well because it gives us a measurement of how far down. I have taken the guitar and turned it upside down in the form and flattened it so that we have this edge to run around with. Now, how easy was that? That was pretty good, right? Got to admit. Now, what we're going to do is just set this aside for a second. I will remove the dish. Remember, the top is concave. Okay, the back side is flat. And this is at a 28 foot radius, which means if we were out like this and coming around, we would be out from me being the center point, we're out 28 feet and we're running around like this. And that would give us this curvature here. We will take the three quarter inch that I sharpened. And this is all I'm doing at this point in order to prepare to bring it down. Can you see how I'm doing this? 
Now that that's cutting down really nice. I just don't want the plane coming down here now and butting up against this because if it hits here it's going to crack it and it could crack it down this way or up that way who knows so I'm bringing this pretty close to where we want it what happens if you do go low we're putting a binding around it anyway so we're going to rope part of this off right here where my finger is anyway we come here we're not bumping into this thing we can actually go right across see and we've got a long way to go down here this gives you a real good example you can clearly see here how if I come along here with the chisel or with the plane and I hit it and knock it too hard how this is really could really do some damage because we got a long way to go down here so we take our time and we get that one side down Curving down like this is what gives us the play on the top that we can hear. So now it's nothing more than doing this, but you can see I've got a lot of work to do. So I think what would be best here is if I carry on doing this and we maybe make a time lapse of what I'm doing here and finish this off. So let's do that. Meanwhile, even though it's a short video today, we can't go without asking you again to subscribe and to be part of this family because it's really important. And that's why I ask you to hit the bell, be notified, so you're one of the first to get to know what's going on here. I have a whole bunch of links down below that you're going to want to check out. If you've got any questions, you can email me and I'm happy to try to answer them. Make sure you comment. Also on the YouTube page in the center uh, on the iPhones and, and the uh, Samsungs I guess you have to scroll along a little bit and you'll find community where I've written a number of articles these are more I guess motivational articles if you will and if you would like to read those and comment and let me know what you think I, I'd, I'd be happy because if it's of no value I don't want to waste my time doing it I if if you're getting something out of it and it's a value hey let's do it because we're all family here so I'm gonna get going on this we got a lot of work to do here so it's that time <laughs> it's that time for me again to enjoy a beautiful warm beautiful cup of English breakfast tea. Oh man. Seriously, this stuff should be illegal. It is that good. Honestly, it is amazing how good this is. As you saw in a previous video, I drank the coffee, as painful as that was. I didn't mind it all that much, to tell you the truth. But I'm challenging all you coffee drinkers. I did at least one cup of coffee there. How about you take one cup of English breakfast tea, add a little milk or a little cream. If you need sugar, throw it in, but you probably won't. And have it, and let me know what you think. Now, speaking of that, we are going to have a tea with Monty very soon. So I want you to start thinking of your question or questions. I'd like you to limit it to two, if you would. And I want you to start sending them through any time now to Tea with Monty and, and you'll see it on the links down below and I can then accumulate all of those together and we'll answer your questions and carry on because we're getting ready for some very interesting things to do with this guitar right now. So let's go do it, family. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Have a great day. Thanks, friends.